intentional for us to say at the same time. But today we're going to be doing a fun Halloween themed challenge. We were thinking that we could do like a jack-o'-lantern competition where we cut up the pumpkins, but then we realized um, that probably won't end too well. So we're going to change it up a bit and today we're going to be painting pumpkins. Whoever paints the best pumpkin will get to choose all of their trick-or-treat sweets. So actually, I'm excited for and this. And actually, I've got a little clue on my idea of what's on my dress. Oh yes, I have kind of got a clue of what I'm wearing as well. So we both have an idea of what we're gonna do uh -huh. with the pumpkins. We've got reference pictures to give us some inspiration uh -huh. on our iPads. So I'm so excited for this. I love art so much. Me so too. Let's get started. I'm not that much of a good painter though, so this is gonna be a different experience for me. I don't paint. Ever. I don't really know how. I haven't painted in ages. First step, you have to roll up your sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> My first colour is probably going to be definitely a dark colour. It might be like a mix of dark blue and black, but it's definitely going to blacken it. So I'll just get these two on my little palette for now. Put that to the side. Pumpkin painting! Can I put my pumpkin upside down? I actually can. Okay. So pumpkin. my plan is I need to paint like half the bottom half of the pumpkin completely black. And then I'm gonna leave the top half of the pumpkin orange. And then I'm gonna draw some like other stuff on it. I'm not just gonna leave it at that, guys. My plan is just to paint the whole entire pumpkin black then. I'll have to wait for it to dry to do the other stuff, which is gonna be like some... By the way, Sienna, just a warning. If you paint it on that thickly, um, you might not have enough for the whole pumpkin. Although at the same time, mine is coming out so watery, yeah. you can barely even like see the black. So maybe, maybe you are actually getting on with a good thing, actually. I'm like not that good of a painter, so it's gonna be interesting oh, to see whether doing it on a pumpkin. Like that. I'm wondering whether doing it on a pumpkin is gonna make me worse yeah, at it or probably. better? I reckon it's gonna make it worse. because Yeah, that's kind of obvious that it's gonna make me worse because like it's way easier to like draw. Well, or paint on a flat thing rather than a thing that moves around and is round. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no, Sienna! My idea was to turn it into like a sort of like silhouette sort of style thing where it's like black oh, and then yeah. you see like the silhouette of like a creepy house, a creepy town, and then a cat. So there's this like bit on my pumpkin here. I'm gonna turn that into a cat. And my idea was that I was basically gonna paint the whole pumpkin black and then I was gonna draw like some like planets on it as, can you, did you guess? Planets, stars for my cat. Ready guys? It's my first, my cat on it. I think I did a pretty good job there. Yeah, you actually did. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself. I didn't think this was gonna go out like that good. I Mia, thought I was kind of gonna be like, I, you deserve oh a pink voice pad on the back. No, thank you, Sienna. That looks really good. Ta -da! Mia, you should do like some um, scarecrows. My idea sounds really simple to me. <laughs> you should also draw like a witch up in the sky with a broom. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, because I was gonna do that. I'm now gonna do a hill, which the house is gonna be on. I did my fence. See that? Oh yeah. Look how it's looking when it's the right way up. <coughs> right, so far I'm actually kind of happy with that. I think that looks pretty cool. Happy. Obviously I need to do the inside. I just realized I did the door really, really small. But let's just pretend the, the witch is a short woman, so. Look at how my house is coming along. I'm pretty happy with it. This is my reveal of my blue planet. It hasn't dried yet. And that's my reveal of my pink planet. Do you like oh, it? Oh wow, that looks cool. I'm gonna do- Oh, I like how it's kind of like got different colors in it because it makes yeah, it look more like a planet. Like but that. you've done it very thickly. Yeah, you made it 3D. The blue planet, sorry. I'm gonna put a little small white ring around it because yeah. On this, it's got um, a small white ring around it. So I've yeah. actually done quite a bit of progress on this. What else should I draw on here? Like, I kind of want to do something little... other than black. I'm kind of getting a bit bored of it, even though I want to do more silhouette stuff. I'm just going to move on and do something other than black because I'm kind of getting a bit bored of it. I should do a full moon and then I 
should do a wolf because this is perfect like yeah. wolf color. Full moon's right. the, the night of the wolves apparently. It feels good to be using an, a different color to black because this whole time I've been using black. Oh wow, that looks really good. I'm so annoyed. What? Why did I try to do a wolf? It's too difficult. Look, it's not coming out like good. Kind of failing. What? That looks amazing. It's it's okay. It just kind of like the rest of it came out really good. Okay. And now it's kind what? Of like okay. It's amazing. You want to take a little snake bag of mine? Now I've got like oh, the wow. stars on it. I feel oh, like it's stars. really coming That's together. Cool. I'm going to do a couple more planets. Then, you know what I'm going to move on to? The glitter. Oh, that's a fun the bat. The glitter. And the bats. I think I'm going to move on to my bats now, actually. I want to do a really big bat. This is my favourite planet. Earth. Um, Earth, yeah. It's kind of just because we live on it. <laughs> I don't really have a favourite planet, actually. I was just making that up there it was Earth because it's the first one I could think of. This is going to be the really cool planet. Currently, I'm trying to draw a big bat. Whoa, that's the biggest bat I've ever seen. It's almost the size of your tree. No, but it's perspective. It's really up close. Oh wow, this is that. That colour is actually looking really pretty, Mia. Look. Oh, that's a pretty. It's looking really uh, pretty. Oh no, the paint's dripping. Oh no! Look, what guys. Do I do? Sienna's paint is dripping. Wait, um, let's turn that into something cool. I mean, it might look quite cool. <laughs> Your hands are covered in paint. I know. I love how you've got paint all over you. Wait, um, let's just turn that into some sort of like galaxy. Yeah, that's, that, that's okay. I'm just mixing. Why am I mixing it with my finger? Because it's an emergency of paint. Did it! You're done! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> so am I. I am completely done. It's still a little wet, so I'm not going to touch it. Yep, yeah, mine too. Okay, explain me your pumpkin then, Sienna. My pumpkin was supposed to be like the universe and like it's supposed to be a little magical and a little spooky. Oh, so, okay. I've got a galaxy. Yeah, that's cool. A galaxy. And I've got a pink planet. I've got some polka dots of glitter. I've got a shooting star and stars around it. And I've got a couple more shooting stars here. Mm. That's my alien, that's Earth, and then up there is the um, is the alien spaceship. <laughs> Here's another galaxy. Here's a little couple of stars, a planet with a ring, and then I've got the sun here. Just please ignore the dripping. Um, and that's my planet, my special one, I think I already showed you. A pink you. one? Yeah, that's pink cool. One. This is my pumpkin. I wanted to do like a silhouette with like a few colors. So the main piece is this witch's house here and then next to it I have got a pumpkin here which kind of failed. I tried to do a pumpkin, didn't really go right. Then I've got a wolf and I've got the moon and it's like howling. So it's a werewolf, a werewolf, let's say it's a werewolf. Then I've got the witch's cauldron just because I wanted to put something here because there was like a big gap but I didn't know what to do so I just did a cauldron. I've got some bats as well and um, they're very big and cool. And then I've got a tree and a fence and we're back to her and house. A cat. Oh, I did a cat as well. Yeah, and I also did a cat. I'm actually really proud of myself for that cat. I think that out of all of it, I'm most proud of the cat, which was like the first thing I did. And I also painted the stalk black because I felt like the contrast of the orange and the black would look quite cool, so. Yeah, that does That's actually look pumpkin. really cool. Make sure to head over to our Instagram. We are at this sisters to comment who you think won this challenge. Please choose me. I put so Please much effort me. into this, but I know Sienna did as well. I thought you I both got, did pretty I got good. my hardest. Yeah.